It's time for Rin's Adventure. Now, I think that this is... I don't know if it's considered filler, but I hear it's actually, you know, canon story relates to, like, Tosaka Rin and maybe some Ryunosuke stuff. Maybe we're gonna see some Sakura stuff. I don't really know, but hey, let's check it out. Tosaka family? This is gem magic? <laughs> Young Tosaka Rin fan service some fucking new photo with this one thigh scene. <laughs> Come on, bruh. But like, her dad uses gem magic, right? Oh? Uh oh. <laughs> it's crazy that I noticed just there. She didn't even say anything. But based on the sound effects, I could tell that it was the English dub. Like, I knew, I was like, something sounds different. Like, she didn't say anything, but she was making noises. I'm like, this is not the noises that a Japanese person would make. <laughs> Father. Is he a mean dad or a nice dad? <laughs> what, what does he think? Is Tokyo me the type of guy to be like, oh, it's okay, Rin. You have this. It's okay. Good girl. Or is he like, so this is what you repay me? The Tosaka family? You're kicked out of the house. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is where Ryunosuke would like, excel at. He, him and Bluebeard should just camp this place and just take all the kids. Uh-oh. Damn. Damn. 2v1. Two boys running away from a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Rin is such a alpha man. She just has that type one and ability. Marukosenosunima,自分の精神をコントロールし続けなければいけない。Wow.その制御を誤ると、マルクは自分の体に羽根から誤った形は自分だけでなく、周りにも害を与える。This is pretty good advice.常に大阪家の家訓である。So like. Uh, timeline-wise, this shit is before he even used the command spell, and Rin was sent off before the Grail War started. So this is like right before the Grail War starts, right? Okay. Thanks, Dad. He seems like a pretty reasonable dad. Like if we just forget the thing about Sakura being sold off, right? He does. He's not mean, and he's not just being like Rin. Skill issue. You suck. You're a disappointment to this family. You bring dishonor to the Tosakas. Like. He seems pretty decent if we, again, ignore the Sakura stuff. Is this girl gonna be important for the future? Is this some unlimited blade work, like, foreshadowing shit? Because, like, I do know that Tosaka Rin is an important character in unlimited blade works. But this girl here on the left doesn't matter, no? So. <laughs> Wow. Horsey. He's such a kind father to Rin only. お父様、もっと教えてください。そうだな。これは今のリンには難しいかもしれない。でもくれるようになる。What <laughs> a great dad. なんといっても。お前は父さん。Yes, <laughs> I was Sakura, but not anymore, I guess. All right. じゃあ、ここ教えてほしいんだけどいいかな? She's like the smartest, the most popular, the most reliable. Rin is such a giga chad, man. She's like valedictorian, most talented, most smartest. She's got everything. Kotone and Rin are really nice friends, huh? Aww. 
These slice of life moments, man. Oh, this is when Tokyo is sending them off. The war of the <laughs> if this is Kiritsugu, would he have taken Ren along for the ride? <sighs> I don't know. Because, like, Tokyo is such a kind father that he doesn't want to get these two involved, so they're sending him off. But Kiritsugu, if Ilya was somehow useful, <laughs> I could see it. I mean, he's already using Aidy, but like, if she is a useful tool, then like, Kiritsuku probably would. So, there are no. In the case of the people who are in the world, the people who are in the world are in the world. So, the people who are in the world are in the world. So, the people who are in the world are in the world. So, the people who are in the world are in the world. So, the people who are in the world are in the Uh... Skill issue. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is this good German or what? Is this really good German or what is it? You who open the door will be friends. <laughs> Some sort of like forbidden book? That was dangerous? Points to it. Also with the book, it points away. No, no, points to it. Wow, that's good. Thank you. 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 There's no way he like planned this shit out, right? There's no way. But once the Holy Grail War ends, we'll try his real jewel magic. Yeah, bro. For sure. Just like how Karia, Sakura. And then the mom is gonna hang out. For sure, bro. This is gonna definitely happen. Oh no. That girl. <laughs> that Kotone girl. Of course she doesn't matter in Unlimited Blade Works. Because she's dead. Because Ryu and Nosuke probably took her. <laughs> oh no. It's a missing kid. No. また自習だって。今朝のニュースも誘拐事件だったぜ。ビデオ。ねえねえ、聞いた?うん。これね?の。The yeah, because both parents are probably dead. Ryunosuke does a thing where he kills both parents and they're on the couch watching TV and the kid's just like fucking... <laughs> just like muffled up and he's just drawing shit on the fucking ground with the blood trying to summon a demon. Well, maybe she's not dead. Maybe Rin saves her. Maybe it's gonna be a happy episode. Oh, Rin, what are you doing here? You're out of your league! Mana compass. There's too much mana here. It's all over the place. I mean, Fuyuki is also where the Holy Grail, you know, war is always health, apparently, here. I 
Oh, going back alleys like this, Rin. What are you doing? But we gotta save Kotone if she's alive. Uh oh. Ryunosuke. There's a glowing bracelet. Glowing bracelet. <laughs> I don't know what that impact was. Rin. Oh, God. She's so cute. <laughs> that whole scene was so cute, bro. She just fucked everything up and started hiding behind it, bro. <laughs> Police patrol. You're <laughs> not Kotone. No. It's gotta be this purple thing, right? I've never seen this purple thing before, but the kids just seem completely gone. I'm gonna assume some sort of item that like hypnotizes kids and he can just take them. What do you think is happening, Rin? Uh oh. <laughs> Do nothing again. It's everywhere. That's a lot of mana. Down there, yeah, it's down there. You sure? Okay, here we go. It's so dark and red. I don't like this. Hmm. Hmm. Some sort of abandoned bar. <laughs> it's a hand. Kotone? <laughs> The mana is pointing right at her. Yeah, I didn't park my car here. Uh, let me just get out of here. The party? There's a lot of kids here, yep. Oh. I'm gonna assume that zap has to do with the purple thing like usually it would just hypnotize a kid or something but Rin's like affinity to magic she's got some like some sort of like resistance and it's not working here <laughs> mm. <laughs> this is truly a mage battle right now. Uh oh. Oh no! Rin, no! Damn, she is a Tosaka after all, man. This is pretty hype right now. So basically, the magic compass was pointing only towards him because he was the source of the mana. But now that it's spinning implies that Tosaka right now is able to just like exude so much mana aura that it's just going crazy. Ooh. Nice. Kotone, get out there. Boy, you just saved every one of them, bro. Yo, these useless cops, man. Ain't nobody doing anything. This kid, this Ryunosuke is getting away with everything. He, she just broke the bracelet. I don't know if he has any extra, but like Rin just saved the day. 
て Wonder if Mr. So I guess Bluebeard gave it to him, right? Vigilante Rin, man. Batman Rin. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. It's a plant like shit from Caster, I think. What the fuck is this? Like locusts? Shit, the locusts? <laughs> Kadia. I think it's Kadia, right? I think this is Kadia right now. I'm like, locust? It's not worms, but it does feel kind of like Mato like. It is Kadia, right? Alright. Mother. And Kadia and mommy? No. They meet again after episode one. Oh no, and now she knows that Kadia is gonna, you know, he's warmed up and that this is done. Man, I'm glad I watched this episode because, like, episode one, they kind of set this up already, right? And now she knows. I will save Sakura. That's so interesting how This is the magic of the Mato family You offer your flesh and your life is slowly devoured But the head of the Mato family That dude Seemingly is just a vampire So why is it that the core of the Mato sorcery and shit You basically cannibalize yourself for the magic But the head is just Still good and kicking it. And he's like, yeah, I'll live another 60 years. I don't care. Is he like leeching the energy away? There's something else he's doing. Because like if everyone else is like sacrificing their life to get power, but he just seems to just have this longevity, he's, he's got to be sucking it up. So like, let's think about this. The worms and shit. Do you think that the worms like take away the vitality and shit for power and then the worms then and then give the vitality and the longevity of lifespan to the father? Is that how this shit works? It's like, how is he still alive? I could maybe reason that the worm shit, it's like taking lifespan but gives you magic power and then the head of the Mato takes the lifespan from the worms and that's how he's still living, maybe? <laughs> Uh, I hope so. He's doing it. Oh, if there was anyone that should have that should win, it should be Kadia, man. But I don't think he will. I don't even know who's going to win at this rate. Everyone else's wishes again. It just feels so fucking pointless compared to Kadia's. Yeah, for sure, bro. Just like how fucking Tokiomi will <laughs> hang out with Rin after this battle. Like, none of you are. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't think anyone's coming out alive. <laughs> Oh. I'll do the crying for you instead. You got a month left. <laughs> Just cry. After can to kill me? What do you mean? We, you plan to die? <laughs> Damn. Aoi might just lose her husband and whatever Kadia is to her, huh? She gonna lose fucking everything. <laughs> It's okay, you saved the day! 
時を見しのご内儀とご息女このまま放置でよろしいか構わないあはははは綺麗さご内儀とご息女このまま放置 Are you assassins? What? 引き続きバーサーカーのマスターを Okay, sure, sure, sure. Keep monitoring Berserker, but what does this imply? It's it. They're potentially in danger. We're we're protecting them, right? It's not like Kiri is being sinister right now, right? What is a Kiri? That that whole Kiri scene was kind of odd. I know he's just got the assassins tracking Berserker, but the whole mom and daughter shit. You're just protecting them, right? <laughs> I don't know. Kire last episode, I feel like it's kind of going off the script now and not really. Maybe he'll stop listening to Tokyomi. I don't know. He's getting his own independent thinking. So like, but this hasn't, but the Grail War hasn't even started yet here. So, but maybe this is hinting something sinister. I don't know. That whole dialogue was weird. Yeah, you saved Kotone. That's the most popular. Elegantly. That's how Tokyo would want. Alright, she did it. Prince Adventure. And that is another episode of Fate Zero. And I know it's a, it's a little bit like a filler OVA kind, right? But it is still with the canon story. And it just kind of shows you a day in the life of Tosaka Rin to show how good of a father Tokiomi can be if you ignore the selling off the daughter part and saving the kids from Ryunosuke. The purple bracelet aided Ryunosuke to collect more kids, which was a gift probably from Caster. And the Sakura, I mean, sorry. Rin was able to just like overload the thing with mana, I guess, and it broke. And then Kadia coming and clutch at the end. That was pretty sick, man. That was really nice. But ah, uh, Aoi and Kadia. This shit we already saw in episode one. It was so sad, right? And it's just like I, Kadia ain't coming back to life. I don't know if Tokyo me is either. Rin is you're gonna be fatherless. I don't know, but <laughs> this shit, this show is not really for uh, happiness, right? There, there's some moments here and there, but a great tragedy is upon us. So. It is what it is. And some weird things going on with Kirei that I'm not really too sure about. Does it hint at Kirei's sinister side of doing something weird with Rin and Mom? Is, was he able to kill? I don't know. I, I have no clue. I'm just trying to just suss out what Kirei might be thinking, but that's it for me. If you're still here, though, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.